Welcome to COBOL Tutorials. In this video, we'll discuss our elections module. Elections can be related to other entities like committees or awards, but they can also stand alone. The election can handle nominations and additional requirements, or it can be set up to only accept votes. In this video, we will cover the nomination portion of the election process and when you may want to use or skip them. Navigate to Elections. and click New. The first thing to decide after the election name is if this election will be related to any other record types or stand alone. You can leave all of this first section blank, but if you do relate this election to a specific committee, for example, then you will be able to access the election information from that committee record. For demonstration, we'll link this election to a committee we already have in our system. Open committee. We'll also set the publish to portal toggle as yes. We suggest saving the record at this point. You can enter more information and then save, but there are a lot of fields and you don't want to lose your work. The next section handles the dates that certain actions can be taken on the portal. If you're accepting nominations, you can set a begin date and an end date for the nomination window. If you're not accepting nominations, then leave these values blank. Note that if you set a begin date, you must set an end date. On the portal, you can see that the dates will display for each election in the system if dates are entered. If the current date is within the nomination window, then a nominate button will display. We'll set hours to allow for nominations today. Next, you can set up some nomination guidelines if you're allowing nominations. If you aren't, then this section can be left with the default values and nothing else. Otherwise, select yes, no to allow the different types of nominations. In this demonstration, we'll set everything to be allowed with a max number of nominations of two. We allow you to set up nomination forms in order to allow you to customize the nomination process. You can ask for additional information about the person nominating or the nominees as needed. For information on setting up custom forms, check out our other videos. We'll leave this one blank for now. Back at the top, you can set additional election requirements if you want them. Do you have additional requirements to do before approving a nomination like checking credentials, you can add those requirements here to remind staff to complete tasks. The requirements will be related to nomination records and you can track their completion. If there are no nomination tasks to complete, you can skip creating nomination requirements. Under more commands, you can set two queries. The nominee query will allow you to specify individuals who can be nominated. For example, current members. You can also specify the people eligible to nominate by setting criteria in the nominator query. If a person does not meet the query, then they will either be unable to be selected in the nomination process or unable to click the nomination button. When customers access this election on the portal, the nominate button appears and nominations can be added based on the election record settings and any criteria you set. If the add nominees list is quite long, the search boxes allow people to more quickly find the right person. We hope this overview of the election record will help you navigate which nomination options to use and which to skip for your needs. Thank you for joining us for Cobalt Tutorials.